So, this is the last topic that I will tackle in the softball rules, the rules 9 to 12. So, let's proceed now. Rule number 9, dead ball, or the ball in play. Section 1, the ball is dead. The ball is dead and not in play in the following circumstances. A. When the ball is batted illegally. B. When the batter steps from one box to another when the pitcher is taking the signal or appears to be taking the signal from the pitcher's plate or steps on the pitching plate. C. When no pitch is declared. Letter D. When, the, when a pitch ball touches any part of the batter's person or clothing, whether the ball is struck or not, the ball is dead. Letter E. When a foul fly ball is not caught. Letter F. When the offensive team causes interference. Letter G. When a fair batted ball strikes an umpire or a runner. May tatlong nakapaloob po dito. Number one, before touching a fielder, including the pitcher. And number two, before passing a fielder, other than the pitcher, without being touched. Or three, after passing the fielder, excluding, excluding the pitcher, and in umpire's judgment, another fielder had a chance to make an out. And note, when he is hit by a fair and touched bo batted ball while in contact with his base, unless he intentionally interferes with the ball or a fielder making a play, the ball becomes, or becomes dead or remains alive, depending on the position of the fielder closest to, her, to the base. So next is the continuation letter which is letter H when the ball is outside the established playing limits of the playing area when an accident to a batter runner or a runner prevents him from proceeding to the awarded base he may be substituted the substitute will be allowed to proceed to any awarded bases the substitute must legally touch all awarded or missed bases not previously touched Letter J, the SP only, when the batter bunts or traps the pitch ball. K, the FP only, when a wild pitch or pass ball goes under, over, or through the backstop. And letter L, when the empire calls the word time. Letter M, when any part of the batter's person is hit with his own batter bat or batter ball, while still in the batter's box, the ball is called dead. When a runner runs bases in reverse order or off the baseline while not attempting to, ad to advance, either to confuse the fielders or to make the travesty of the game. Letter O, when the coach near third base runs in the direction of home plate or near to the baseline while the fielder is attempting to make a play on a batter on a batted or thrown ball and thereby throws throw to home plate. Letter P, when one or more members of the offensive team stand or collect at, collect at or around a base to which a runner is advancing, thereby confusing the fielders and adding to the difficulty of making a play. Q, FP only, when a runner fails to keep contact with the base to which is he is entitled until a legally pitch ball has been released. Letter R, the SP only, when a runner fails to keep contact with the base to which he is entitled until a legally pitch has been reached home plate. And letter S, SP only, after, after each strike or a ball. Next is the letter T, the continuation. When a black ball is declared, when a ball Letter U, when a batter enters the batter box with or use an altered bat. Letter V, when a batter enters the batter's box with or uses an illegal bat, the ball is dead. And W, when, when with less than two out and a runner on first base, a fielder intentionally drops a fair fly ball, including a line drive, FP and SP or a bunt, FP only, but that could be caught by an infielder with an ordinary effort. After it, it is controlled with a hand or a glove. 
Note, if an infield fly is true, it has precedence over an intentional drop ball. Letter X, when the fielder carries a, ball, a light ball into a dead ball territory. Y, when time, the word time, has been called a defensive player, is making an appeal. And letter Z, when the ball fails to enter the box or the batter's box within 10 seconds after the umpire calls play. So, a calls play ball. So, we have the letter AA. When any person other than team member enters the playing field and creates interference. Letter AB. When the batter runner steps back toward home plate to avoid delay, a tag by a fielder. Letter AC. When an offensive team member deliberately erases the lines of the batter's box. And letter AD. When, an ba when a batter is issued unintentionally based on balls and letter ae when a strike is called on the batter for stepping out of the batter's box and delaying the game so next is the section two in rule number nine the ball is in play the ball is in play in the following circumstances at the start of the game and and each half inning when the pitcher has the ball while standing in his pitching position and the other plate umpire has called the plate ball. B. When the infield fly rule is enforced. C. When a thrown ball goes, field, goes past a fielder and remains in playable territory. D. When a fair ball strikes an umpire or a runner or fair gr ground after. So may nakapaloob ng dalawa. Which one? Number one, passing a fielder excluding the pitcher and no other fielder had a chance to make an out or number two touching a fielder ex including the pitcher letter e when a fair ball strikes an umpire on foul ground letter f when the runners have reached the bases to which they are entitled they have after the fielder illegally fields as batted thrown or pitcher ball number a uh, letter letter g when a runner is called out for passing a preceding runner. Exception of this section is when a runner is called out for passing preceding runner, preceding runner while the ball is dead, the ball will remain dead. Letter H, when no, when no, play, is be, when no play is being made on an, ob, on an obstructed runner, the ball shall remain alive until the play is over. Letter I, when a, fa when a fair ball is likely batted, letter J, when a runner must return in reverse order while the ball is in play, letter K, when a runner acquires the right to base by touching it before put out, letter L, when a base is dislodged while runners as are progressing around the bases, M, wh when a runner runs more than 0 0.91 meters or or three feet from his base path in regular or reverse order to avoid being touched by the ball in the hand of a fielder. Letter N, when a runner is tagged or forced out. Letter O, when the runner umpire calls a runner for, when the, around, when the umpire calls the runner out for failure to return and touch the base, when play is resumed after suspension play. So, pag ang umpire is tinawag yung isang runner na ipa-out siya or, for the, or a, fail, a failure to return and touch the base, the play is, res is remain and resume after the suspension display. So, letter P, when a live ball appeal, play is legally being made. Letter Q, when the batter hits the ball. Letter um, or when a live ball strikes a photographer, groundkeeper, policeman, and other assigned to the game field in the softball. Letter S, when a fly ball has been luckily caught, when a, when a thrown ball strikes an offensive player. If the batter drops bat and the ball rolls against the bat in fair territory and in umpire's judgment there was no intention to interfere with the with the course of the ball letter v when a thrown ball strikes an umpire 
letter W, whenever the ball is not dead as provided in the section 1 of this rule. Letter X, when a thrown ball, when a thrown ball accidentally strikes a coach, the ball is dead. Y, FP only, when a ball has been cold on the butter and when the four balls have been cold, but the butter may not, not be put out before the reaches before he reaches reaches his first base and letter z fp only when a strike when a strike has been called on the butter and when the three strikes have been called on the butter so next um in parenthesis section two the aa fp only when a foul tip has been legally caught a b s p only as long as there is a play as a result to hit by the butter this includes a subsequent appeal play. AC, FP only when the ball slips from the pitcher's hand during during his swing up or during the back swing. Letter AD, when a runner is called out for getting a running start from a base or any fly ball. Letter AE, when a runner abandons a base, does not attempt to advance to the next base, enters, in, enters his team's area or leaves the field of play is called out and after and letter af when a runner is called out for being physically assisted by anyone other than the other runner so the except the exception for this when assisted in a foul ball in a foul ball not caught the ball will remain dead and letter ag the sp only the main the ball remains live or live until the umpire calls the word time it should be done when the ball is held by a player in infield and in the up and the opinion of an umpire all play has been ceased so next we proceed to the section 3 which is the delayed dead ball there are five situations when a violation of the rule occurs an umpire recognizes it and the ball remains and live or live until the conclusion of the play these situations are number 1 are the letter a an illegal pitch Letter B, the catcher's obstruction. Letter C, FP only, plate umpire's interference. Letter D, the obstruction. And the last, for the fifth violation, E, detached equipment contacting a, tro contacting a thrown ball, a pitch ball, or a, failed, a fair battered ball. So now, let's proceed to rule number 10, the umpires. Section 1, power and duties. The umpires are the representatives of the league or the organization which they have been assigned to a particular game and such as authorized and required to enforce each of these rules. They have the power to order a player, a coach, a captain or a manager to do or omit to do any act which in their judgment is necessary to give force and effect to one, all, to one or all of these rules and to inflict penalties as herein prescribed, the plate umpires shall have the authority to make the decision on any situation not specifically covered in the rules. General information for the umpires: Letter A, the umpire shall not be a shall not be the member of either team. Yes, umpire should not be the members of a team. Examples: a player, coach, manager, officer, scorer, or a sponsor. Letter B. The umpire should be sure should be sure of the date, the time, and the place for the game or where which the game held, and should arrive at the playing field twenty to thirty minutes ahead of time, or must dapat mauna sila ahead of time that start the game on time and leave the field when the game is over. And let us see, the male and female umpire must wear. So, ito yung mga susuti na mga male or the woman umpire. Number one, a powder blue long or short sleeve shirt. Two, dark navy blue socks. Three, dark navy blue slacks. Four, dark navy blue cup with a white and blue trim ISF letters on the front of it. Number five, Dark navy ball bag or plate only. Um, six, 
is the dark navy blue jacket or a sweater. 7. Black shoes and belt. 8. A white t-shirt worn under the powder blue shirt. D. Umpires must not wear exposed jewelry that may expose the hazard. Yes, umpires should not wear any accessories or jewelries. So the exception of this, medical alert, bracelets, or necklaces. Letter E, the plate umpires is fast, pitch must wear a black face mask, black or a tan padding, and black throat protector and a body protector, and shin guards with need to protection. An extended wire protector may be worn in a leaf of a throat protector on the mask. Next, letter F, the umpire should introduce themselves first to the captains, manager, and the scorer. Yes, the umpire should introduce or responsible to introduce herself para po makilala sila. Then letter G, the umpire should inspect the playing field, the boundaries, the equipment, clarifying all the ground rules both teams and their coaches. So yes, umpire should inspect, inspect first. That's why nga, dapat siya ang mauna po sa playing game. Kung saan po na held yung game. Para i-inspect niya kung ano po yung mga dapat i kuhanin doon sa ground, anong pang ilagay, and also to ensure that there is no harm in that ground. Also, the equipment that should be completed na para hindi na mag-waste ng time. And also, the very important that umpires should do is to clarify the ground rules of the game in the both teams para klarong lahat. Then, letter H, each umpire shall have the power to make a decision on violation committed any during playing time or during suspension of play until the game is over. Letter I, neither umpire has the authority to set aside or, or question decision made by the other within the limits of their respective duties as an outline in this rule. J, an umpire may consult, yes, they can consult his associate the at any time. However, the final decision shall rest with the umpire, whose exclu exclusively authority it was to make the decision and requested the opinion of the other. And letter K, in order to define the respective duties, the umpire, ju the umpire judging balls and the strike balls be designated as the plate umpire. The umpire judging base decision, the base as the base umpire. So, my limang there are five na nakaplab sa letter K in which the decision, the plate umpire, the umpire judging base decision as the base umpire. Well, uh, the plate umpire or base umpire shall have equal authority to call a runner out of a leaving base too soon. Call a time for suspension of play. Remove or eject a player, coach, manager from the game for violation of rules. Call an illegal pitches. Determine and call an infield fly. Next is the letter M. The umpire shall declare the, the batter or runner out without waiting for an appeal. For such decision, um, in all cases where such player is retired in accordance with the rules. The note, unless appealed to, the umpire does not call player out, penalize him for having failed to touch base, le uh, leaving a base too soon on a cut fly ball. Batting out for the order being an report, unreported substitute, being an illegal re-entry, the replace the replacement, um, being an illegal entry, the replacement player or returning with wrong player do not report, being a runner who switch position on basis with another runner, um, or making an attempt to go to the second base after reaching the first base as provided in these rules. Letter N, umpire shall not penalize a a team for infraction of rule when imposing the penalty would be the advantage of the fun of offending the team and letter o um the failure of an umpire to adhere to the rule number 10 shall not be grounds for the protest these are guidelines for umpires so the section 2 also that nakapaloob pa rin sa umpires is the plate umpire um letter a shall take a position in back of the catcher he shall have full charge of and be responsible for the proper conduct of the game. Letter B, shall call balls and strikes. C, shall, shall 
by agreement in co in cooperation with the base umpire called plays hit balls fair or a foul legal or illegal caught balls and plays that would necess necess necessitate that the base umpire leaving the infield the plate umpire shall assume that the duties normally required of the base umpire already shall, uh, shall determine and declare whether a batter bounce or a chops a ball a batted ball touches the persons or clothing of the batter so let's put it to letter e shall under base decision when are required to do so shall determine when a game is forfeited letter g the last letter in the section two shall assume all duties of the plate umpire when assigned as a single umpire to a game so next let's proceed to the section three which is hmm, the base umpire shall um, letter a shall take Position on the playing field as required in accordance with the relevant umpire systems shall assist the plate umpire in every way to enforce rules of the game. So next, we will proceed to section four um, of the rule. So, section four responsibilities of a single umpire. If only one umpire is assigned in the playing field of the of the game in softball. His duty, duties, and jurisdiction shall extend to all points. The umpire starting position for each pitch shall be, be from behind home plate. And each batted ball or, or play that develops, the umpire shall move from behind the plate and into the infield to obtain the best position for any play that develops. Section 5. Changes of the umpires. Umpires cannot be changed during a game by the consent of opposing teams. Unless, unless, umpire is incapacitated by injuries or illness. So, mapapalitan lang po sila pag unless po is they are having an injury or sakit. Section 6, the umpire's judgment. There shall be no appeal from any decision of any umpire on the grounds that he was not correct in his conclusion as to the whether a battered ball was fair or a file, a runner safe or out, pitch, ball a strike or a ball or any involving accuracy of judgment. No, de no decision rendered by an any umpire shall be reversed, except that he be convinced it is, an it is in a violation of one of these rules. So, in case that the manager, captain, or other team does seek a, re seek a reversal of a decision based solely on a point that the rules, the umpire, who decision is in the question shall, in a if in doubt, or a doubt, confer with his associated before taking any action, but under no circumstances shall any player or person other than the manager of the, or the captain of their team have an any legal right to protest or any decision and seeks its revi its reversal on a claim that it is a conflict it is in a conflict with these rules so next we are now in the section 7 the signals so letter a to indicate the play shall begin or to be resumed the umpire shall call shall or shall call play ball and at the same time, motion the pitcher to develop the ball. B. A strike shall be um, indicated by the raising the right hand upward, indicating the numbers of strike by the fingers, and at the same time, calling strike in, in clear and, decis and decisive voice. C. To indicate a ball, no arms signal is used. To indicate the total count of the balls and the strikes, the balls are called first. E, to indicate a foul, the uh, umpire shall call foul ball and extended an arm horizont horizontally away from the diamond according to the direction of the ball. To indicate a fair ball, the umpire shall extend an arm toward the center of the diamond using a pumption or a pumping motion. Letter um, G, uh, to indicate a butter or a runner out, the umpire shall raise the right hand upward above the right shoulder with, the, with a fist closed 
letter H to indicate the player is safe. The arm partial extend your arm both horizontal, horizontally to the side of the body with palms toward the ground. And uh, letter I to indicate the suspension of the play, the arm partial call time. And at the same time, extended both above uh, extended both arms above uh, above the head. The other arm partial immediately acknowledge this, the suspension of play with a similar with a similar action. So parehas lang action. To indicate a delayed the dead ball, the arm partial extend the left arm horizontally with the fist closed. So next is also the letter K to indicate a trap ball. The arm partial extend both arms horizontally to the ad on the side of the body with palms toward the ground. So number one, uh, letter L to indicate the ground rule double. The arm partial extend the right hand above the head and at the same time indicate with two fingers the number of bases awarded. Letter M to indicate a home run. The impartial extend the right hand with closed fist, close uh, with closed fist close above the head and circle the arm in a clockwise movement. Letter N to indicate an infield play. The umpire, the umpire shall call infield play if fair. The batter is out. The umpire shall, uh, the umpire shall extend one arm above the head. And letter O to indicate not to pitch. The umpire should raise one hand with the pie, with the palm facing the pitcher. No pitch shall no declared. If the pitcher pitches while the umpire has his hand in this in said position. So next, the section eight, the suspension of play. An umpire may suspend play when, in his judgment, condition justifies such action. B. Play shall be suspended whenever the plate umpire leaves his position to brush the plate or to perform other duties not directly connected with the calling of place. Letter C. The umpire shall suspended when suspended play whenever a batter or a pitcher steps out of, out of the position of a legitimate reason. And a letter D. An umpire shall not call time after a pitcher has started the wind up. Or and and letter E, an umpire shall shall not call time when any play while any play is in progress. So letter F, my letter F pa, in case of injury, except in the umpire's judgment with a serious with a serious injury which may put the player in danger, time shall not be called until plays in progress have been completed. Our runners have been held at the derb at their base. So the effect of the section section eight F and uh, section eight letter F in this case of injury when the time is called the ball is dead and the runners may be awarded the base or bases that they would have made in the umpire's judgment had the injury not occurred. Letter G umpires umpires shall not suspend play at the request of a player, coaches, or manager until an action in progress by other team has been completed. Letter F, H, SP only when, when, in, the op when in the opinion of, the, of an umpire, all immediate play is apparently completed. Time should be called. So now, we now proceed to rule number 11. The protest. Section 1 protest that will not Section 1 protest that will not be received. Protest shall not be received or considered if they are based solely on a, on a decision involving the accuracy of judgment on the part of an umpire or if the team lodging the protest won the game. Example of the protest that will not be considered in the game are letter A whether a battered ball was fair or foul, whether a runner was safe or out, whether a pitch ball was strike or a ball, whether a pitch was legal or illegal, whether a runner did or did not touch a base, whether a runner left the base too soon on a caught fly ball. And next, whether a fly ball 
was or was not caught legally. And the last one, whether it was or was not an infield flight. And meron pa po, uh, whether there was, there was or was not an interference, whether there, wa there was or was not an obstruction, whether a player or a lead ball did, not, did or did not enter the dead ball area or touch some object or person in dead ball area. Let's, next is whether a battered ball did, did or did not clear the fence flight, whether the field is fit continue to resume a play, whether this is there is a sufficient light to continue play, or letter A, the I letter O, the last no, letter, any other matter involving only the accuracy of the umpire's judgment. So next, we now proceed to section two, the protest that will be received. So kanina yung section three na yon is the protest that will not be received. Ngayon naman is the protest that will be received. Protests that shall be received and considered include matters or of the following types. A. Misinterpretation of the playing rule. B. Playing of an umpire to apply the correct rule of a given situation. C. Failure to be imposed at the correct penalty of a given violation. Note for number one. Note one. Protests for the, protests for the above must be made before the next pitch or before all infielders have left fair territory, or if the only last play the only last play of the game before the umpires leave the playing field. The number two, after one pitch has been thrown, thrown legal, legal or illegal, no change can be made on any umpire's ruling. So next, the letter D, the eligib eligibility of a team uh, roster member. So note, protest for the Protests for the above are not submitted to the appropriate um, authority, not the umpires, and may be made at any time subject to the provision of the Rule Number 11, Section 5. So the Section 3, Protests involving judgment and interpretation of a rule. Protests, any, protests may involve both of matters of judgment and the interpretation of a rule. An example of a situation of this follows. With one out, with one out, and the runners on the section and third bases, the um, butterfly flied out. The runner on third tag up after the catch. The players on the second did not. The runner on the third crossed the play before the ball was played at the second base for the third out. So the section, section four, the no the notification of the intent to the large protest. The notification of intent to protest but must made immediately before the next speech. Exception of this is the player ineligibility. ineligibility. So the letter A, the manager of acting man the manager or the acting manager of the of the protest of the protesting team shall immediately notify the plate umpire that the game is being continued under the protest. The plate umpire shall in turn notify the opposing manager um, and official scorekeeper. Letter B, all interested parties shall take notice, notice of the conditions surrounding the making of the decision that will aid in the correct determination of the issue. So note, an appeal place, the appeal must be made before the next speech, legal or illegal, or before the defensive team has left the field. So, for the purpose of this rule, the defensive team has left the field, when the pitcher and all players have left fair territory on the way to the bench of the of dugout area. So this next the section five time to lodge an official protest. The official written protest must be filed within a reasonable time. Letter A. In the absence of a league of a tournament rule fixing that the time limit of a of a filing a protest, a protest should be considered in the file. In if filed within a reasonable time, depending upon the nature of the case and difficulty for obtaining the information in which the base protest. Within 48 hours after the scheduled time of the contest is generally considered as a reasonable time. Next, now we are now in the section 6 of the rule number 11. Information required for written protest. The formal written protest shall 
or should contain the following information. The date, time, and place of the game. The names of the umpires and the scorer. Yes, dapat alam natin yung name ng umpires and the scorer. Also, the date is very important, the time, and the place of the game. The rule and the section of the official rules or local rules under which the protest is made. The decision and the conditions surrounding the making of the decision. And all essential facts involved in the matter protested. Next is the section 7, the result of the protest. The decision made on a protested game must result in the following. The protest is found invalid and the game's score stands as played. When the protest is allowed for misinterpretation of a playing rule, the game is, re is, re is replayed from the point at which in the correct incorrect decision was made. With this decision, with this, with the decision is corrected. When a protest or ineligibility of a team roster member is allowed, the game shall be forfeited by the offending team. So next, we are now in the last rule of the softball, which is the Rule number 12, the scoring. Section 1, the official scorer. Shall keep records of each game as outlined in the following rules. Shall have the sole authority to make all decisions involving judgment. For example, um, it is the scorer's responsibility to determine whether a, ba a batter's advance to first base is the result of a hit or a run error or an error. However, a scorer shall not make a decision which conflicts with the, with the official playing rules or within the umpire's decision. So, the scorer will always, um, what we call that, um, based on the umpire's decision. So, next in the section 2, the box score, each player's name and the position of pos or the position to be played shall be listed in the order in which he batted or would have batted unless the player is likely substituted, ejected, or removed from the game, or the game ends before his turn at a bat. So note, in the blood ruling, any statistic occurred by the replacement player while he is in the game are, are credited to the player, even if, he, uh, even if he is a listed substitute who does not eventually enter the game as a substitution for another year, another player. So next, the note number two, any statistic occurred by a um, temporary runner shall accrue, uh, accrue to player for whom he is running. So the section three is, the base hit shall not be recorded. A base hit shall not be scored in the following cases. So, to yon. when a runner is forced out by a batted ball or would have been forced out except for a fielding error. When a runner, when a player fielding a batted ball retires preceding runner with ordinary effort. When a fielder fails in, a, in an attempt to retire a preceding runner and the score judgment, the batter runner could have been retired after at the first base. When a batter runner reaches the first base safely, pag naka, ano siya, naka, dating siya sa first base ng, mag, ng ingat, as a result of the preceding runner being called out for interfering with a batted ball or defensive player. Exception of this, if, if in the judgment of the scorer, the batter would have reached first base safely had the interference not occurred, a safe hit shall be credit, credited to the batter. So the section 4, the sacrifice, the sacrifice fly balls. Um, a sacrifice flies Fly is scored when, with less than two outs, the batter scores runner with a fly ball which is caught or the ball or, or the line drive handle, uh, handled by an outfielder or an infielder running out the outfielder is dropped and a runner scores and in scorer's judgment, the runner could have scored the catch had the fly been, have the fly ball been caught. So next is the section 5 batted in a run batted is an uh, it in is a run scored because of one of the following reason a safe hit a sacrifice bunt or slap hit or sacrifice fly 
a foul fly caught, an infield put out or fielder's choice, a runner's force home because of the obstruction, the butter uh, the butter being hit with a pitch ball or being given a base on balls, a home run and all runs scored as a result. So next to the section sheet, section 6, pitcher credited with a win. A pitcher shall be credited with a win in the following situation. When he is the starting pitcher and he has pitched at least 4 innings and his team was not only in the lead when he is replaced but remains in the lead for the remainder of the game. When a, ge when a game is ended after 5 innings of play and the, started, and the starting pitcher has pitched at least three at least three innings and his team scores more runs than the other team when the game is terminated so next is the section 7 the pitcher charge with the loss a pitcher shall be charged with a loss regardless of the number of innings he has pitched if he is replaced when he, when his team is behind in the score and his team there uh, thereafter fails to tie the score or gain the lead so next, section 8, the game summary. The summary shall list the following items in order. A, the score by innings and the final score. The runs batted in and by whom hit. Two base hits and, and by whom hit. Three base hits and by whom hit. Home runs and by whom hit. Sacrifice flies by whom hit. Double, the double plays. And players participating in them, triple plays and players participating in them, number of walks given by each pitcher, number of batters stuck out by the each pitcher, number of hits and runs allowed by each pitcher, and the name of the winning pitcher. The name of the losing pitcher, the name of the game, the names of the umpires and scorer, stolen base and by whom, sacrifice bunts. The names of the batter hit by the pitch ball and the pitcher whom hit them. The number of a, of a wild pitches made by each pitcher. The number of pass balls made by each catcher. So next is the section 9, the stolen bases. Stolen base bases are credited to a runner whenever he advances one base unaided by a hit, a put out, an error, a force out, fielder's choice, a pass ball, a wild pitch, or an illegal pitch. This includes a batter runner and advancing to second on an award and second on an awarded base on the balls. So the section 10 is the records of the forfeited games. All records of a forfeited game shall include in the official records except of a pitcher's one lost record. So this is end my slide. Thank you for listening.